So how do we create user roles in SAP? This is done via transaction code PFCG. Before we jump into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss any more videos. We first of all need to provide a name for our role. The role itself should normally start with a Z to distinguish it from standard SAP roles. Let's say we want to create a role to access business partner information. So I will just type in the name business partner role one. And then over here, I can click on create single role. I would also have the option to create a so-called composite role, which stores the information of one to n single roles. But for now, this is fine. Before we click on single role, let's actually change the settings for what will be displayed in the view over here. We navigate to more, go to settings, and then select simple maintenance. Afterwards, we can click on create single role. You can see a new menu opened. First of all, we can insert here a meaningful description. This is a role to display business partners. We also have the option to provide a long text and even derive information from already existing roles. But for now, this is fine. Then we go to menu. We are prompted to a little screen saying that we must first save the role before we can continue. So let's hit on yes. And now we can navigate to the menu tab. Here we have the option to include transactions. So in the end, the user needs to access business partner information. So he or she needs access to the business partner transaction. Therefore, we click here on transaction and we insert a transaction code BP for business partner. Furthermore, it's also important since in this case, the business partner is a special topic to get access to the vendor and customer transaction codes. So XK01, XK02, XK03, and also for the customer side, XD01, XD02, and XD03. Then we click on assign transactions. Now we provided the transactions that the user should be able to access. However, we did not yet define the authorization values. Therefore, we click on the authorizations button. And by the way, before we do so, despite the transaction over here, we can also include a bunch of other information like reports, Fiori catalogs, and so on. Let's click on authorizations now. First of all, we need to click on this little button over here to generate a profile. So let's click on this button. We can see a profile was generated and now we can assign the authorizations down here via change authorization data. We are prompted to save the role first again. We click on yes. Then a little note appears, but here we click on continue. Now the system asks us to provide some more organizational information. So for which company code, the authorization object should be valid in my case, then the purchase organization, a division, sales organization and distribution channel. You could even say here full authorization. However, this is not advisable if we are talking about productive roads for your users. Let's click on save. Now you can see a kind of hierarchy. The subnode is our role that we created. And over here we can see that there are missing values. So right now for the materials management purchasing, everything is green. However, for some other components, we can open the view over here. And here you can see we would need to provide for each of the lines that are marked with yellow, also field information. Let me give you an example. Let's go to financial accounting. We go to customer central data. And here we could say for the central data of the customer, we want to grant full authorization for displaying, changing, and so on. To accelerate the process, I can double click on this little traffic light over here and all authorizations will be granted. This is again not advisable for productive roles, but for our test case, this is fine. If you want to include more authorization objects, this can be done via the button over here called manually. And here we could provide more authorization objects similar to the ones that are already inserted. It is always advisable to display the technical name as well. So go to more utilities, technical names on. So those here are the authorization objects. If there is an error for your user, so meaning that your user can't access a transaction, for instance, then in the error log, you will see those kind of technical field names here indicating missing authorizations. For now, let's actually generate the role. So we click on this button over here. This will both save the role and actually generate it. So this is always necessary. Then we go back and over here you can see the authorization step is now green. Last but not least, all we need to do is assign this new created role to a user or even multiple users. So we click on user and here we provide the user ID and the validity period and hit enter. Let's click on save again. We can see the data was saved. However, the user tab still indicates that it's incomplete. So a user check is currently missing. Therefore, it's advisable to display the extended view 
of the roads. So we go back, click on more, go to settings, select basic maintenance, click on the change mode, go on the user tab and over here we select the user comparison indicator so that the role will be updated for the respective user. Click on full comparison, minimize the window and now you can see the role has been successfully assigned to the user. And this marks the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If so, please subscribe to the channel to not miss any more further videos and activate the bell. See you next time.